Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag that is the pop punk tag. So if you want to see what I'm into and what are my opinions on this type of music, then just keep watching. So I have the questions on my phone and I'm going to be answering as fast as I can just because I know that tags can get super long and nobody has time to sit and waste time. So the question number one would be, what's your favorite band? My favorite band will be uh, Waster. Right now I'm super obsessed with Waster. Ever since my husband found out about the band, we've been so obsessed. Number two, what was your first gig? Well, honestly, my first gig was not a pop punk show. It was the Jonas Brothers. Question number three, favorite pizza topping? <laughs> I would see why this is a pop punk question. But anyway, before you even judge, just know that pineapple belongs on pizza and that is my favorite pizza topping pineapple uh, question number four name a band you haven't seen but really want to i would say that would be moose blood or neck deep i've never seen any of those bands and i really want to so yeah um number five favorite live band my favorite live band will be with the kings they are just so fun number six Put your music player on shuffle and name the first five songs. All right, let's do this. So that's When I Was Young by Blink-182. Oh my gosh. So that would be Group Love, um, the Colors song. It's not pop punk, but it was in my playlist, so. So yeah, that's Teen Hearts, the song Falling. Uh, I used to listen to this song when I was into like the scene phase a lot. He just like makes shirts and sell them and he's also like a tattoo, tattoo artist. So if you're interested on uh, buying one of his shirts, they're like crazy tie-dye with crazy like alien prints and stuff. They're so tight. But like um, if you're interested in buying one of those, I might put like a picture over here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, you can totally go to the link and use my code to get a discount on it. I'm not too sure if it's like a 20% discount or a 10% discount, but still, it's a, quite a, like a bit of discount. So if you want to check them out and get a shirt, you can use my code that I'm going to leave down below. Uh, so do that. I really, really, really recommend that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and then the last song. Yeah, the anthem by Good Charlotte. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not what I jam the most, but you know, it's still it's good enough to put in my playlist. So yeah, let's continue. Those are the five songs. So number seven, what do you hate about your town? Huh, what I hate about my town, I can't really complain because I'm in this town by choice. You know, like y'all know, y'all can tell I'm from Mexico. So I came over here just because I wanted to be here and specifically this town um, so I can't really complain there's just some people that are not as cool so I guess that's the only thing I hate about my town it's beautiful out here like downtown San Antonio downtown is awesome and like the music scene here it's awesome it's just some people that are just 
too mean, I guess. Um, okay, number eight. What is your opinion on cheap posters? I just can't give much of like an opinion because it's really their choice. They can just go ahead and do whatever they want to do. And I feel like most of us are sheep in a way because, I mean, I'm doing the pop punk tag right now. And that is because I feel like I'm like pretty much sheep following all these pop punk bands and wanting to do what they do and you know so like over here like fangirling about them and stuff well i don't know if that that counts as like sheep but <laughs> i feel like we all do that at some like you know sometimes we always have something that we just follow because some other people do like like when you're asking for permission to go to a party or to go to a show and your mom is like no you're like but all my friends are going and you know like you're being cheap right there and it's just there's nothing wrong with it just you know just do what you like do what you want to do and if you have your reasons and the reason why you want to do things is because your friends do it that's still acceptable i can't really judge and complain about that we all do what we want to do and i encourage that just do what you want to do and let others do what they want to do that's the same to live and to let live so just, just live your life and let them do whatever they want anyway <laughs> um number nine neck deep or the story so far i can't really choose between those two um i would say well i really like both but i listen to them at different times you know like I used to listen to uh, the story so far a lot when I was working out and neck deep is kind of like when I'm at home chilling or when I'm driving on when I'm at like at the office working and stuff is when I listen to neck deep because it's something that still let, lets me like focus and the story so far is like more it's just like faster and is like more going on in the songs so it's just both but I would say I'll go with neck deep this time just because I like to chill a lot more than I like to work out and do crazy things, but uh, Number 10, if you had a band, what would you name it? Well, honestly, I thought this through. I I've thought about not being in a band or having a band because I feel like I'm not musically inclined um, when it comes to like, yeah, playing and all that stuff. It's never been my talent, but um, my husband's always trying to come up with names for bands and stuff and there's this one name that um, we found it's just kids we were driving um, we were like on a road trip or something I believe and we saw this big ass sign it was just red and it had like a white font it was just huge the only thing that was on the sign was those two words like just kids and it was like a font that you would see on like a Kind of like a school sports team um like a college font pretty much and it was just so sick it looks so cool so we thought about that for like a, a like a band name he was trying to start like a pop punk band um again and that was one of the the names we we came up with and he didn't use it but i was like i'll keep it if i had a band that's what i would use so it would be just kids 11. How do you tell a girl you want to kiss her? I wouldn't tell, tell a girl I want to kiss her, but this is, I can, okay, so I wouldn't tell a girl I want to kiss her, and I wouldn't tell a boy I want to kiss him because I'm married, but if we're talking about my husband here, I'm just like, babe, come kiss me, and he'll come to the room or whatever I'm at, and he'll give me a kiss. Uh, but if you want advice about that, then I would say just go for it. Don't ask because that makes things awkward. Uh, just go for it, guys. Just If you want to kiss a girl, you want to kiss a boy, just go for it. I, yeah, because I feel like if you ask, it will be awkward. 13. No, just kidding. 12. How many times a week you feel navy blue? Isn't it like the story so far song? Um, so I feel navy blue like four or five times a day like i mean a week it's pretty often honestly um but it's just you know life hits you stress hits you work money things like that just definitely just randomly slap you in the face and make you feel navy blue and you just want to cry and stay in bed and 
you must give work and stuff like that but it's pretty often uh, but I'm still not complaining it's pretty normal I believe and I think like everybody does the same <laughs> now um, do your parents understand you I can't complain about that either they do understand me not 100% because nobody's parents understand nobody like they don't know no one has parents that like fully understand them so I would say my parents understand me like a good 80% um, sometimes they are like clueless of what I'm talking about and that's all right they're older I'm younger you know they know more than I do at this point about most things but I'd say they, on, they do understand me I'm not complaining um, 14 how many band shirts do you own I've never counted the amount of shirts that I have um, and I do share a lot of them with my husband so I don't know probably around 12 like I'm wearing one right now and um, this is actually my husband's but um, I have the same one and just my size <laughs> um, but I don't know probably around 12 15 we do have quite a bit and we share some of them so let's say 12 15 Chuck Taylors or Vans? Vans. All the way. Oh, 16. Ever experienced a time where you met a band? What happened? Well, yeah. Um, I've met a couple bands. Warped Tour makes this really easy to happen. So, yeah. I've met... Uh, one of my favorite bands that I've met would be As It Is. I have a picture with Patty right here. Um, I have... Let me see. I have a picture with Metro Station. Um, I have a picture with Brandon. Is just like a YouTube music kind of thing. He's cool though. Um, what else? I've met Fossil Youth. My husband and I are like super obsessed with Fossil Youth and like um, we went to Austin just to see them and there was literally like 20 people. We bought like a hat, we bought a shirt and so they gave us this vinyl, it's pretty 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 good like you should like check them out because they're really really good. They're not a big band or anything but um, this one's really really good. All their songs are really really good. 17. How many picks slash drumsticks have you caught? Well, I caught one time, I got um, a t-shirt from, I don't even know the band, it was just a show, like a Blood on the Dance Floor show and my husband was just opening up with like another band, I just asked him to fill in. So we went and there was this one guy singing and stuff, he apparently had like a bunch of fans and girls screaming. Uh, I don't know who it was, but I caught the shirt. And also at Warped Tour, I had the, um, I was super close to the front row seeing, um, what's it called? With the Kinks, because my sister is like super obsessed with them and they were playing and stuff and then um, they threw a pick and I just saw it like fly and I was like, I'm never going to catch it, like this, I'm not that lucky. And somehow the pick landed like right here on my arm. And you know, I was sweaty, it was warped towards, so it landed over here in my arm. And all these girls were on the floor, like, trying to find it, and I was just like, mm. my sister was on the floor, and I remember I just pulled her, like, backpack, and I'm like, stop it, like, I have it, just shut up, because I don't want girls to, like, rip it off from me. <laughs> so I just had it like this, it's just freaking out, and then I, I caught it, and I just put it in my pocket, and they keep, like, looking on the floor, they were, like, going at it. And I just kept it and then um, when I met them after the show, I got them to sign it. Um, also, Travis signed my ticket, my, yeah, the, yeah, the ticket, <laughs> the warp Toy ticket. And um, the rest of them just signed like a random piece of paper that I had. And that was, that was like at the end of the day. Um, and as was right after the show when he was like getting like ready to leave the stage or whatever I found Travis outside and he was vlogging with me and it was pretty cool if you want to check that vlog just look through my videos and it's gonna be somewhere in those old videos <laughs> so question number 18 
throwdowns or punk jumps? I would say throwdowns. So question number 19. How many bands have you seen live? I think at this point it will be impossible to count how many times I've seen live just because you know when you go to warp tour every year and you have you know you're married to a guy that plays shows pretty pretty often it's kind of like impossible to count how many bands I've seen live it's been so so many so I'll just leave it at that because I have no clue and Question number 20. This is like legit a question. Like I'm not I'm not kidding. Like it says right there. Question 20 knuckle puck though. Well, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't listen to knuckle puck. I've listened like I've heard some songs, but I've never actually took the time to play knuckle puck and stuff. I just know my husband's kind of like into it because I'll, I'll show you, I'm not even lying. He has his bass. Like he has his bass stuff with knuckle puck stickers everywhere. Knuckle puck, knuckle puck. And then there is two more over there that are knuckle puck. And um, yeah. I like this thing a lot. That's why it's part of my living room. <laughs> but yeah, it just has knuckle puck stickers and that's all I have to say. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, you can give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you want to follow me on my social media, don't forget that I always have the links down below so you can go do that if you want to and I hope to see you guys next week. Bye!